So we are back with a summer with Karen. Let's uh, let's see how this is gonna end off like. Kind of excited. My final morning in Bella Riva, I received one last call out to Joseph and Izzy's house. I knew I had to pack, but I figured I could squeeze in one final job before I had to leave. When I arrived, I found Joseph tidying up his wilderness of a garden. The playhouse was already cleared. Inside, I could see Izzy happily testing out her screw driving skills on the back of her cassette deck. Oh, that's adorable. You've made quite the impression. Isabel, Izzy, tells me she's going to be a repair woman like Maria. <laughs> I'm sure she could be anything she wanted if she put her mind to it. That is so damn right. She could. She's a brilliant child. Spending the day with her at the festival, I haven't had so much fun in ages. I wanted to give her something before she starts to forget. Okay, okay. Inside, the house was transformed, flooded with light and the sounds of the garden. It felt alive again. This would be my last repair in Bellariva, but it felt like it was the house that had really been restored. Ah, oh, that's, that's so sweet. It's a music box. It used to play beautifully, but now when I wind it up, nothing happens. We, we, we can fix that, don't you worry. I'd love for Izzy to hear it sing again. Can you help? Yes, yes, I bloody well can, my friend. Right, so we have a key, which is probably going to do nothing at the moment. We have a screwdriver and some glue, so we know that we've got to uh, uh, go somewhere around there. Okay, yeah, uh, looks like the glass is broken. Or is it a picture? Glass picture? Right, let's undo these screws. My phone was in the way, so I couldn't have like full motion of my uh, <laughs> mouse then. Oops. There we go, let's put that down there. Let's detach that. Maria, could you add this family picture of us? Oh, that's lovely. So let's put that in there. Wait. Have I got to glue it on? That would make more sense, right? Yeah. I'm glad I figured that out now before like five minutes. Let me try to just stick it in. There we go. Beautiful. Now put that back on, I assume. And then we got to... Um, get inside of it, which would also make sense. So let's turn this around. Okay. What is that? That's like a bird and something else. Interesting. I'm trying to rota rota rotate it, hello. Okay, well I don't appreciate you put it back there when I'm trying to see the bloody screwdriver. I mean the screws for the screwdriver. How dare you! There we go. Now we can take this off. And then... I don't really know what we're doing. But I'm just going with it. And I guess we put that down and have a look at this. This mechanism is completely broken. Let's I'll see the, to take the it all apart here. before I can fix it. That's, that's fine. Okay, so we got some cogs and the thing that makes it play music, which... We're obviously going to need to replace so this is broken we don't need that anymore take this off and this and i guess we put this in here we stick that back there and then we need to find out where these go normally it's normally like this right is there a way that i can test to see if it works with this key hmm I mean, it looks like it works, but why aren't these cogs all spinning? Is that normal? See, that looks better, right? They're all spinning now. That makes more sense to one of them spinning. Perfect. Yeah, the there we go. Is good as new. I'm not that silly, don't worry. I don't know if we have to do anything with this. This looks fine. Um, Got to put that back in there. I don't know why I put it back down. There. And then this goes back there. And then 
Where did this go? Did it go in here? Yeah, for some reason it clipped in. I don't know why. But okay. I guess that works. Should I somehow break it? I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty confused. I can't remember how that went. Oh, I see, I see. So these go in first. And then you put the drawer in. I get it now. Okay. I just f completely forgot how it went together. But I did it so it's fine. But now that I see that little hole, it makes sense because, you know, that's kind of like a, a little drawer hole. I can't work out what that su second thing is that is in that drawer. Okay. Ah. That is so cute. Oh, I see why I went wrong. I was like, I put all this together. That had to be detached and it's going to go in top of here, I presume. Let me just put this back together. Like that. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, have I missed something? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, there we go. That makes sense now. And now we put... Looks like something is still missing. The drawback, woman. My wife Here we used go. To sing this song to Izzy each night before bed, but I always work too late to join them. Will you dream a dream for me? Or I sit by your side and hold you so tight. Know that I will always love you, even though we both know that we must say good night. That's adorable. My heart melts. I've missed so much already. I want to be the father my wife wanted me to be. Well, you can do that. I've ended up so much like my own father. Working all the time. Izzy needs me more than that. Especially now it's just the two of us. My daughter comes first. Well, not until she gets bored of her stuffy old dad anyway. Ah, oh, don't speak like that, you big silly. I never ever get bored of you, dad. Izzy came running into the room where Joseph scooped her up and onto his shoulders. She gazed at the music box, her eyes shining. I'd never seen her look so happy. Thank you, Maria, for everything. The things you fixed for me, I'm so glad to have them back. Joseph was a good father, and I could tell he was determined to be an even better one. When it came down to it, that was all any of us wanted. A second chance to make something right. No, normally is the case. My time in Bellariva was almost over, but before I left, I knew there was something of my own I needed to fix. What is that gonna be? All right, let's 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 see what we gotta fix then. Here we go. My time in Bellariva was almost at an end. Another chapter finished in a story whose ending I hadn't felt ready to write. The people I'd met, the items I'd restored. They taught me so much about what was really important. Pulling out my suitcase from beneath the bed, I remembered the day I stole it from my parents' shop. The day I left. Afterwards, I was too ashamed to call them. To apologize. It was a guilt I'd been carrying around every day since. As I packed, I knew that it was up to me to find a way to lighten the load. Yep. I was like, we're packing there and not actually fixing anything, which is fine, I guess, but here we go. Okay, we have some stuff here. History of Elena watches. Elena gave me these designer shirts. Not sure I'll pull them off as well as she does. Nah, that would be silly. My parents would love Bellariva. Maybe I can convince them to make the trip. I hope so. My train ticket. I can't believe it's time to leave Bellariva behind. Izzy gave me this in exchange for my repair manual. She'll be a pro in no time. Hell yeah. Joseph's idea of light reading for the train. It does look thorough. 
Okay. The soundtrack to my travels. I'll be listening to this on the journey. The recipe for Carmen's special. Hell yeah. I'm under strict instructions to guard it with my life. Yeah, you better. It's a secret ingredient the strike there. was full, but it was my heart that felt heavy as I made my way to the station. I was sorry to be leaving Bella Riva behind, but I hoped that in my own small way I'd made a difference. Helena and Carmen's reunion was possible because they'd learned to overcome their differences. Joseph had realized he shouldn't let his grief or his work get in the way of his relationship with Izzy. They'd each learned to see things from someone else's perspective. Maybe it was time I saw things through my parents' eyes. I knew it would be easier to jump on the next train, put even more distance between us, but I finally felt ready to talk to them. I just didn't know if they would feel the same. Did I even remember their number? I wasn't sure until I reached for the phone and it all came flooding back. Mom? Dad? Maria? Is that you? No, that was just an end of credits. Okay, well, very um, nice, beautiful, inspiring game. Um, did really enjoy that. Kind of sad that it isn't sure what it is. I don't know how old this game is and, you know, things like that, but I really wish it would carry on, you know? Probably with a bit more of a story of something else that'd be interesting, but sometimes games are just better finished than to carry on with. Dear Maria, Carmen here. Sorry I haven't written. The cafe's been absolutely manic since you left. Luckily, I have Helena here to help. You wouldn't recognize her. She's like a new woman. Hell yeah, I'm happy for her. She's always running around, taking orders and making drinks. I even heard her compliment a customer on their outfit. Personally, I draw the line at fluorescent green bowling shirts, but each to their own. Mm -hmm. It certainly made the customer smile. That's all that matters sometimes. Good customer service. She misses the city, though. Bella Riva's many things, but it's definitely not as chic as she'd like. She said there was a coffee shop near her old apartment where they made coffee with a shape drawn on top. Mm, I mean, yeah. It got me thinking, I'm an award-winning chef. I can figure out how to put a leaf on a cappuccino. A bit of cosmopolitan coffee might be just what Helena needs. Maybe, maybe. Of course, ordering a new coffee machine was the easy part. I wish you could have seen the mess I got into trying to put the thing together. It's okay. It looks like we're gonna do that for her then. Okay, nice. That, this is gonna some kind of like little special then, which is nice. Shows you like what happened after I saw you know, she left. Use her screwdriver a million times. Oh no, it's her doing it. Easy. It's Carmen doing it. Okay, that's that's cool. So now I'm playing as Carmen. I assume because that's like, why would she be talking otherwise? These pipes look pretty simple. I should start with them. Yeah, probably. I just want to take a thing apart first. Okay, cool. The, the, that doesn't sound particularly healthy. What is that? Am I gonna be like blown up or something? Right. Um. I don't know what she, planet she was living on, but it doesn't look that simple. Oh, I wish Maria was here. She'd know how to put these pipes together. It's alright, I can do it. You're not doing it anyway, I am. What is this? Okay. I thought that'd go like underneath or something. I don't know. Um, there's some reason to me that looked like two pipes. It's not the. Oh. Okay. So we've got this option and that option over there. It doesn't like he wants to go over there though, so. What is this? I just realized this thing here. Oh, that goes there, I see. Okay, no, that was actually really pretty simple. Finally, no more steam. It was a lot more simple than I thought it was gonna be. Is this like option menu? <laughs> I love it instead of the the uh the 
coffee or whatever it was. That's awesome. Alright, so we have this board up here as well, which I assume that needs to be dealt with. So let's take this off. And I assume it's gonna be the back of here. You know, that would make sense. There it is, like that. Yeah. I didn't want to take that off game. I'm just trying to turn things. Do I just place it? I honestly don't really know where it's meant to go. There's no glue or anything. Okay. Oh, where did he go? Finally, no more steam. Oh, he goes under. Okay, that makes sense. Well, for some reason the game clicked it in for me. So that's nice. I don't know which one is which. Oh, okay. Um That's wrong. That's wrong. That's also wrong. Sorry, what? Okay. So one goes to... Does... does it... I didn't realise I actually put one in. Is it because of that? And I have to match them up according to what I've plugged them in as? Because, you know, that would make sense, right? Right. Oh, I see. There are some down here as well. Why did no one tell me that? Oh my goodness, I just put it all back together for nothing. A bit silly. I was wondering why you're the free wires there. Well, that's my own fault really, isn't it? Right, now let's put it back together because I'm a big silly and I completely ignore the fact that everything in the game that's visually there should be inside these objects that we are fixing, but apparently that just goes straight through my head. You know, sometimes there has been other things that have you know, come along and it looks like I've forgotten a screw. Where did the bloody screws go? Oh, yeah, there was some back here. I forgot about that. Perfect. And now there's two for the back of here, and this felt fairly easy until the fact that I ignored there was three bloody wires. Now let's see if it works. I think that's everything. Better test the buttons just to make sure. Yep, yep, seems good. Yep, seems good. All done. Uh -huh. Piece of cake. Time to make my first coffee, I think. Oh yeah. Hell oh, yeah, we're gonna make the coffee. Why? Why did I have to put it down? Like, what is it doing? Lovely. Now to make it look magical. Glug, glug, glug. Now we gotta do the topping thing, right? Right, maybe? Oh. This cream. Mm, a perfect coffee. All it needs is a saucer and a couple of Helena's favourite biscuits. Apparently, I'm not very creative because it looks like a something. Let me know what it <laughs> looks like. Espresso. Perfect. I was feeling more has-been than coffee queen by the time I'd made a drink fit for human consumption. 
It looked a bit, uh, mm, postmodern, but knowing Helena's refined tastes, I hope she'd think it was intentional. Always the connoisseur. She didn't even bother to look at it at first. She was so busy wafting it under her nose. Steamed up her glasses, of course. How was she going to see my work of art through an eye full of fog? Yeah. When she finally spotted it, though, she was totally impressed. I did a good job. I'll admit, she spent several minutes trying to figure out exactly what it was I'd drawn. Yeah, I don't she even know what it was. It was probably a horse. <laughs> well, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. Let, let me know what you think it was that I drew, because I don't know either. Enough to ask for another one. I guess I'll need to get some practice in. The whole thing was such hard work, Maria. I never realized how difficult it was, all that mechanical stuff. It made me realize how much I have to thank you for, so I wanted to say that now. Better latte than never. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Hoping you're well. Your friend. Carla. I love her. She's amazing. And I guess that's it. There's, uh, there's nothing else I can do is, you know, what I'm aware of. So, yeah, that's... Uh, I was just meant to go back to the menu, but apparently that's not the way. But yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed that. Really cute story there. It's adorable. I love things like this. But if you uh, enjoyed this video, you know, make sure to leave a like or comment. Just let me know that you've enjoyed this. And if you'd like to join the Discord, there is a link in the description. It'd be absolutely awesome to see so many faces in there. I'm also doing Steam code giveaways. So if you want to be a part of that, you know, make sure to come join in. Guys, thank you so much for watching.